Hello everybody, Jeff here. What we're going to do today is we're going to install this receiver hitch onto the Buick Rendezvous. And I got this from eBay. Um, what was this? The uh, company I got it from. Uh, looking at my uh, packing list here. Um, got it from a company called Toys for Trucks. And uh, I'm going to try to get this installed today. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, there's plenty of room to work under here. You don't need to jack it up. At least I'm uh, not going to. And the hitch installs these uh, slots in the frame. Which are a little bit rusty, but I don't think they're rusted so much that it's going to cause a problem. So we should be all right. Um, you're going to want to like, take your spare tire out. I took this out a few, about three weeks ago when I was originally going to install this and ended up, it took all day just to get the spare tire down. This thing was just totally screwed up the hoist. It's got that um, secondary latch thing on it, which is the same as Chevy trucks that there's always problems with it it would come down a little bit and the latch the latch would set, wouldn't release it was all rusted up and uh i got the tire down a little bit and uh i ended up having to cut this end off in order to get the tire out and we took the lat the whole hoist out and tried to lube it up and cut that latch off and i put it back in and tried to reuse it and the cable just ended up busting out this side so the cable was all frozen up. I don't think the, the spare had ever been down before. So I'm going to have to get a new hoist for it. But it also says in the instructions that you might want to lower the exhaust. I'm going to see if I can, to make it easier, I'm going to see if I can avoid doing that. So uh, we'll get started here. Okay, this first step's a little bit tricky. This is the, these are the blocks and the carriage bolts and they go up inside those holes I already did that side so uh we get the camera set so where you can see okay i hope i got it in a view here i got it laying on the ground so i can't see the screen to know if i'm getting a picture or not and still keep the camera out of my way but the first thing you want to go kind of get the bolt started in here. You want to go up through the rear one first. Push it up. And if you get this to flip back down through the through the front hole. And you're going to turn the block at a little bit of an angle here. Okay, that one's in. And this one, um, you just want to start it up. Let me push the bolt up a little bit so that it's up into there. flipped on its side on me here. I gotta try to flip it back over. Try to maneuver it. I've seen some other videos uh, with some uh, Or some other pictures from some other hitches from different companies that had a little cable in there to do that with. So now my bolt came out, so I'm gonna have to pull this out and start over again and get it back down through there. Okay, you better record, be recording. Let's try that again. Let me double check this. Yeah, we're, we're recording. Just a little bit. 
Looking at the camera laying on the asphalt here. Let's try this again. Kind of slip the up in there and in the head, then push the bolt up a little bit. Enough to get the whole thing in there. And then uh, push the rest of it up into there and hope the bolt don't slip out again. And it's went on its side again. Now the other side I did fairly got fairly easy here. Yeah, I'll try to get it flipped over here. push in there further. <laughs> there we go. Now we got it. Okay. Then you want to make sure that these uh, bars don't overlap in the frame. And they should be good like they are. Okay? Now the next step is probably going to be the hardest part. Okay, I keep this camera from tipping over. Okay, the next step is to hoist the uh, hitch up into there. And I'm working by myself here, so I gotta do this on my. Try to do it on my myself here. It's not too heavy, but <clears throat> we'll see. Okay, so I go up over the tailpipe here. It's got a little cutout here. I'm gonna try to do this without lowering the tailpipe. Try to. Push it down enough to get the plates in the position here. Uh, okay, we're gonna line it up on the bolts. Uh, and I'm actually using the exhaust pipe to kind of might be easier to do this side first. These are tooth washers. They got little teeth on one side, so they got to go up towards the uh, hitch. Okay, I have all the nuts on, and they're just finger tight right now. You want to make sure that this lip is up against the end plate on the body. And another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure it's centered side by side. So I'm going to take some measurements from here to here and make sure that they're the same. 
Okay, I got it centered about the best I can. And the nuts are snug, they're not tight. Next thing I need to do is I need to drill 3 8 inch holes through these holes into the end plate here. Which, uh, it might be a little bit tough to get to that one. I was trying to figure out whether to drill them through this side or through this side. There's a couple little dimples here that are spot welds. Um, I don't know, I was thinking about trying to go through those, but I still don't know if they'd line up. But So, we'll see if I can get that done. Well, I don't have a lot of room to work here. It's going to have to go kind of an angle, it looks like. Ah, I hate these keyless chucks. Let's try it again. Ah, shoot. Yeah, that drill keeps slipping. Try to tighten it again. Well, after much trial and tribulation, I finally got some holes drilled through there. I ended up having to get a smaller bit and drill a pilot hole through this side. And take the three three eighths inch bit and come through this side, and I end up having to ream it out a little bit to get the bolt to go in straight. So we do the other side. I'm not going to bother filming any of that. Okay, I got the holes drilled in. Now you got um, the flat washer bolt. It's really hard to do this and hold the camera at the same okay. time. Just go through like this. Lock washer on the back. And the nut. And I ended up having to ream the holes out a little bit in the in the hitch. So we'll snug them down. Same with the other side. Okay, I think I got the right combination of tools now. Need a little swivel or extension here. You think I got the wrong wrench? Well, these days I'll get the right combination of tools. Okay, there we go. Those aren't tight, they gotta be torqued, but we're gonna just uh, get rid of them about like that for now. Snug these ones down. Okay, everything's snugged up. Now I gotta torque them to spec. Okay, these bolts here need to be torqued to 75 foot pounds. So, using my brand new torque wrench that I bought just yesterday at Harbor Freight Tools, I'll get that set. We got this set for 75 foot pounds. I have to go a little ways here. Ugh. OK, 
Okay, there we go there. Okay, same thing with the other side. Okay, now these bolts need to be set for 30 foot bounds. So if you can see me do this without knocking over the cam. This is where it probably would have been handy to have the back of the car jacked up, but uh, because I'm not getting a very good leverage on here. I think I'm gonna knock the camera over. Still see me? I'm not sure if that, that click. Okay, I think that's it. Get that off of there. Couldn't tell whether the wrench clicked or if it was just uh, hitting on something. Okay, that's it. Same with the other side. Let's shut the camera off for that. Okay, the hitch is installed. Everything's torqued up. The only thing I might have to make an adjustment here is the tailpipe is hit, kind of hitting over that side a little bit. I had, this is a custom made hit tailpipe. My, the resonator rotted out so instead of putting a new resonate, buying a new resonator for it, I just had them replace it with a straight tailpipe. And I'm probably gonna have to bend the hanger a little bit, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Or get a piece of wire or something trying to pry it over, but that's something I'll do another time. The next step is to hook up the wiring harness. And it did come with a wiring harness, so I gotta read the instructions on how that's done first. <laughs> 